The Watson UVTT laser marker differs from CO2 and fiber laser markers in that it can mark any material, including metals. This video is about metals. We'll talk about the principle of laser marking these materials and show how this marker works on black steel, aluminium, stainless steel and copper, as well as how it does color marking and how it differs from fiber optic emitters. Hi, this is Verma. Let's get started. How laser metal marking works. Firstly, the UV spectrum is perfectly absorbed by most metals. Therefore, the Watson UVTT can apply contrast images, even on copper, despite its high reflectivity. Laser marking is essentially a change in the properties of a metal, changing its color or vaporizing the surface layer of the metal. These methods can be used to apply contrasting, detailed and durable images to different types of metal. The marking cannot be felt with the fingers because the UV laser does not exceed the ablation threshold, i.e. it does not penetrate deep into the material, unlike a fiber laser, which has sufficient power to engrave deep. Laser marking is the result of a focused laser beam hitting the surface of a metal and changing its properties. For example, you can easily mark clear images and text on black steel or aluminium. But what about color marking on metals? How to create color markings? The first thing to note is that not all metals can be color marked. The most common metals are high alloy metals containing chromium, such as stainless steel and titanium. Copper can also produce color shades when marked with a UV laser, as these lasers have relatively low power but high power density. Processing copper with a fiber laser is almost impossible. Some temper colors can also be achieved on carbon steels, but the color range is severely limited to a few shades, mainly yellow, brown and blue. Stainless steel offers a much wider range of colors, including yellow, orange, red, green, blue and purple. The essence of the process can be reduced to the same changes in the properties of the metal. When metal is heated, an oxide film forms on it, tarnishing, which refracts light rays, reflecting them in a certain spectrum. This allows the eye to see shades of color on the metal. Depending on the heating temperature, the thickness of this oxide film changes, and so does the color. Heating temperature and marking results are influenced not only by power and speed, but also by pulse frequency and stability. The frequency is the number of pulses per unit of time, and can be set in the EasyCAD software, where all the work is done. The higher the frequency, the greater the effect of the laser. See how the result differs at different frequencies, all other things being equal. Different emitters have different frequency ranges, and the wider the range, the more room for creativity. With the Watson UVTT marker, this range is from 20 to 150 kilohertz. Pulse stability is a characteristic of the emitter that expresses the degree of consistency and constancy in the quality characteristics of each laser pulse. The JPT ultraviolet transmitter has a high pulse stability, less than 3% RMS at 60 kHz, which has a positive effect on the accuracy, uniformity and reproducibility of results. The degree of thermal influence can be easily adjusted and fine-tuned for different results. Of course, the choice of parameters will be different for each metal. For example, for aluminium, the parameters can be selected to achieve a perfect white shade. The same can be achieved on copper, in addition, different colors can be achieved on copper, not to mention stainless steel. See how bright shades can be achieved on it. The Watson UVTT has an operating speed of up to 7,000 mm per second and a laser source life of 100,000 hours. That's more than 11 years of continuous operation. If you'd like to learn more about this model, you can view the overview on our channel or sign up for an online demo. You can also visit our showroom in the Netherlands and ask our managers any questions you may have in person. We offer delivery and commissioning of the equipment and, of course, a warranty. Our engineers can provide training for you or your staff. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or contact us in any other way that suits you. See you in the new videos.